Good hello my sweet friends and welcome to the first writing vlog in a little while. Welcome to the writing corner. What you can't see is that my computer is right here. We have done a vlog from this angle before but it's been a hot minute. As you guys know if you have seen one of my writing vlogs before you know that I am a writer. I am not published yet but one day I will be. I have every intention of becoming published someday. I just don't know when that will happen and It'll be once I finish a book. It's just a matter of actually finishing it. So a few of the topics that I've talked about in writing vlogs before are writing is hard, picking a topic, writing is hard. But I've also done science fiction world building and fantasy world building and talking about all of these ways that you can, you know, learn how to get better at writing because I may be a writer, but I have also studied literature and I studied writing as well. So when I started making YouTube videos, I thought I could lend my voice to the writing community in a really organic way. Plus, I don't know, like I like watching writing vlogs where people talk about what they're writing because I feel like it's relatable. So I kind of wanted to be open and be transparent and to talk about these things that are really difficult, like writing is hard. So I was looking through all of my writing vlogs, trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about. And I realized that I've literally never talked about how to get started writing. I have been very lucky for my whole life that I picked up writing naturally as a kid. It was just something that I started doing. I started spinning stories in my head and then writing them down in notebooks and then typing them out when we got our first computer. And you know, it was just something that I've always done. So I never really thought about the people who don't necessarily know how to write, don't necessarily know where to start. And so I figured, hey, let's make a writing vlog about how to start writing. Before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you want notifications whenever I post a video. I post videos every single Sunday and I'm hoping to maybe ramp it up to more than once a week. And like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it. That would really mean a lot to me. So you want to write, but you don't know where to start. A lot of the people who have talked to me about this, I've had a few people ask me on my Twitch channel, oh my gosh, I have had this idea, but I don't know how to get started. I don't even know where to start. I'm so overwhelmed. How do I get this on paper? You've got this idea. You've got this idea that you're so excited about and you think it'll make a great story. You think it hasn't been written before and you want to write it but you have no idea where to begin. There's a couple of things that you can do. Every writer is gonna tell you something different because every writer's methods about how they write is different. So for myself personally, when I come, like when an idea comes to me, an idea and a character come to me and it's very rare that an idea comes to me without at least one character. But then there have also been times where I have come up with a character and then created an idea around that character and vice versa, where I've come up with an idea but I have no idea who the character is going to be. A lot of the things I write are very character based, so I don't really often have a situation where I don't have a character, but we're gonna walk through a bunch of different ways that you can get started writing and kind of my advice and tips for that. Where do you start? A lot of people don't know where to start. Where do I start? How do I start writing? Oh my God, what do I do? Here's the thing. It doesn't really matter where you start as long as you somehow get to the finish line. And that sounds so stupid and so cliche, but it's the truth. Fundamentally, it doesn't matter what part of the story you begin with, whether you have a fledgling of an idea and you come up with the plot and then the characters, or you have a fledgling of an idea and then you come up with the characters and then the plot, or you have a character and you work them into a plot. No matter what, you're fundamentally doing the same thing, which is what every writer needs to do first. You need to create your cast of characters and you need to plot. I did not believe in plotting in the past, which was huge, huge mistake for me. For some reason, I thought in the past, specifically when I was in university, that I could write and just write and like the story would come to me. It would be organic. It would just happen. Stupid, it was dumb. It was not smart because the fact of the matter is, 
yes, the story might come to you, but it probably won't make any sense in the way it comes to you. And I'm not saying that you have to like really strictly like put every single scene together, but at the very least, what you need to do is write out the beginning, the middle, and the end, and the big actionable events that happen in between. We know that there's always a climax in a book. We know that there's always some sort of catalyst for something for our characters to change, etc., etc. And it's important for you to know when and where that is in the book before you get started writing. And in my opinion, as somebody who writes very, very character-based stuff, it's very, very important for you to make sure you know where your character fits in that role and where your other characters fit within that person's role and within their own respective roles in the book. Basically, I'm a huge plotting stan. You need to plot your book. If you want to have a successful novel that you can write with as little difficulty as possible, because writing's difficult even when you have a plot. Like, I have two books plotted in this notebook right here. I have the two books that I'm working on right now plotted in here. And I had no idea where to start with both of them. The first one, I had an idea and a character. And that's all I had. And I didn't know where I was going to go with it. I didn't know how it was going to flow. So I knew that I needed to plot. So with that one, I had this idea. I read a book and then I had this inspiration and I said, okay, I know my character. I know her backstory. I know what's going to happen, but how am I going to make the beginning that I've created and the end that I already know, how am I gonna make that happen? And that's where the plotting came in for this one. Basically, I had the character, I had the beginning, and I had the end, and I needed to flesh out the middle. So that's what I did. I made what happened at the beginning fit with the ending, and now it's just a matter of writing everything in between, following the plot that I've laid out, and filling it in with chapters and filler material. I do a fairly in-depth plot. I don't do like a skeleton, but I also don't do like a fully fleshed out body with like everything. I do a little bit of a mix, you know, I've got point forms for pretty much, you know, every chapter, but it's one tiny little sentence of what happens just so that I can remember for myself as I go through. The second book that I'm writing is a romance novel. It's a hate to love romance novel. And it came to me one day in a fever dream at work. <laughs> and I was sitting at work and I was like, Oh my god. And I literally took 20 minutes and I just wrote it down. I had this idea, I had the character, I had the plot, I pretty much had it all. I just needed to write down all of it. And I needed to figure out my side characters. I needed to figure out how the romance was going to work. I needed to figure out how the hate to love romance, you know, relationship started. And that is kind of how that one worked. But again, it's very similar to the first one. I had this idea and I had our main character and I just had to flesh everything else out. I have a friend who had a plot point come to them and they just had one plot point and they wanted to work that into a novel and they created characters and an entire plot around that one plot point. And some people work like that as well. Basically, it's your job to make sure that you are as prepared as you possibly can be to write and to do the due diligence for this novel that it deserves, right? Like you have this amazing idea that you can put on paper that other people may be able to read someday. Why not take a day or two or five and plot it, right? Plot it out. That's my biggest advice. Plot your book before you start writing because there's nothing worse. This is how I discovered plotting was important because I started writing and then I got to like chapter eight and I realized, Jesus, this doesn't even work. Then I stepped back, stepped away from the writing, plotted it actually. And the first eight chapters ended up being absolutely nothing like what I wrote because I didn't adequately plot it. You need to plot. That's the long and short of it. Plot your books. I've also had a lot of people ask me how you get better. And honestly, I'm going to say the thing that everybody says, okay? You need to practice and you need to read. I'm not saying read so that you can steal other people's or other authors' voices. Because at the end of the day, the more you write, the more you're going to develop your own writing style and your own writing voice. But reading just broadens your perspective. It gives you more vocabulary. 
you know, it teaches you different ways that people write so that you can help to create your own voice. Reading broadly allows you to be a more successful writer. So make sure you're reading, carve out time each day to read a little bit and also practice. Write short stories if you're stumped on your actual book. Write essays, write scenes that you don't even know whether they'll be in the book, but write them anyways because you, they might be, who knows? Write things that come to you in the middle of the night, even if it's only 500 words. Write, 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 and then write your book and keep writing. And even if it sucks, that's what editing is for. Never think that your first draft is going to be the final draft because no one's first draft is the final draft. Everyone's first draft is shitty. That's like kind of the law. First drafts have to be shitty. Anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this. Like people get so bogged down with the idea of writing being this like super complex, super hard, really difficult thing. But the fact of the matter is, I was five and I was writing stories and I didn't think of it as this super complex, super hard thing because all I wanted to do was get the story that I had inside my head down on paper. And that's what I did. And because of that, I now have a passion for storytelling and a passion for writing. If you have a story that you want to tell, plot it out, give it a chance and then write. And writing's the hardest part. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, once you plot it, it'll all be easy because it won't be. It's going to be really difficult. Writing is so difficult. I sit and I just like stare sometimes just like, oh God, what do I even write here? And 90% of the time I feel like what I wrote was garbage. And that's because writing's hard. I used to erase work that I didn't like, and I don't do that anymore because it might suck now but when I go over it, once I'm done my book and I edit it, I'm going to be really happy with it probably. And the fact of the matter is once you plot a book, you just need to get that plot down on actual paper into something that makes sense outside of your head. You've got a beautiful story in there. Okay. I know you do. I know you do in your brain. If you're watching this video, you have a beautiful story inside of your brain and you're capable of writing it. You just have to give it the chance that it deserves and the hard work that it deserves. So create your characters, create your plot and then fucking write. You can do it. Anyways, that is everything from me today in this video. I love doing writing vlogs. They are like some of my favorite kinds of videos to do. I just love them, but I want to know what kind of reading vlogs or not reading Jesus. I want to know what kind of writing vlogs you guys want to see. So if you could let me know down in the comments below what you liked about this video and whether you have any questions about writing, whether it's fantasy, science fiction, romance, whatever kind of book you want to write. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below what you want to know and I will make a writing vlog about it. I also really love this setup. We got plants, we got rock salt, we got my figurines, we got whew, my books in the mirror. As you can tell, you can see all three of the mirrors, all four of the mirrors in my space in this shot. I digress. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly, truly appreciate you. And don't forget, I have all of my social media linked down below. I've been super into Twitter lately, so follow me on Twitter if you don't already. And that is everything from me today. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.